Hello everybody, happy Wednesday. Um, today is actually Monday and as I've said in like a million videos, I'm not the huge, I'm not the best cook. It's not my favorite thing to do, cooking. Um, I love to eat out, but it's expensive uh, and not always super healthy. So I'm gonna try to cook all my meals this week and I thought I would, you know, of course, I love supporting local, as you all know. So I thought I would do my groceries all local for the week and show you guys what I bought and how I put together um, my dinner for Monday um, with all local groceries. So I picked out a recipe. I'm going to make chicken with creamy mustard sauce. Um, so there are some ingredients in this that um, I'm gonna have to buy at local shops, but um, that like aren't necessarily like locally sourced. But we're gonna start by going to the Sororan Farmers Market, which is every Monday from three to seven. Just a little bit like a minion today. Oh well. This is Sororan Park, and it's a pretty awesome park. We've got a guy doing balloon animals right now, so that's fun. So I bought a bunch of veggies and some cherries and an empanada for a snack at the farmer's market. On to the next place. Here's me, I'm on a bus shelter. So this is a bulk food store and you can bring your own containers or you can get paper bags and buy your Here. It's pretty great. This tells you exactly what to do. Okay, grains. Check. And I've got one more market to go do. And then the butcher. I'm done. Okay, I'm just getting my produce here. So fresh. I officially have all the produce I need. Now I just need to get the meat and dairy and all that stuff. So I was gonna get my meat at a new butcher shop on the street called Russell's. They're closed. So then I walked to the meat department. They're closed. So now I made it in the nick of time to, you can't see, Row Farms. <music> Groceries done. Alexis is picking me up on the side of the road because I'm so tired. Okay, so I am back from all my shopping. And when can I cook this? And this is what I got. So this is from a shop on my street. I didn't catch names of the one place I didn't film, but this is some like brand name stuff. So this is Crunches. These are tortilla wraps sour cream and milk. Then from Maple Foods, I got lettuce, cilantro, peppers, avocados, and tomatoes. From Mabel's Bakery, I got bagels, so those will be for breakfast. Um, from the Source Bulk Foods, I got stuff for granola, so I got coconut, pecans, and walnuts. I already have oats. From Row Farms, I got steak, which I'm going to use to make uh, steak tacos for lunches and chicken, which is gonna be for my mustard chicken. 
this cheese is a good snack. Then from the farmer's market, I got a zucchini, dill, uh, broccoli. Are you eating a walnut? Mm -hmm. um, garlic, beans, and this giant bag of cherries. I freaking love cherries. They're literally called sweet cherries. And there's Alexis eating my walnuts. So I got home and I put all my groceries and I recorded and everything. And then I go to read my recipe and I immediately realized that I forgot a key ingredient. I forgot chicken broth. So I'm running up to the store at the top of the street and getting some chicken broth. Okay, I went to the convenience store and I bought the chicken broth. So it's like, it's still like local, it's still like a small business, but like it's my one kind of cheat, but whatever, you can only do what you can do. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna make for my week before I make my chicken, which I should probably make soon because it's eight o'clock, is granola for the week. Because I love making granola, so. I change it up every time, but this time I'm using oats, coconut, check out my other ingredients. I have more coconut, but these are more like flakes because I didn't know I had this. Um, pecans. Uh, sorry, those were walnuts and these are pecans. And I also use maple syrup, vanilla, and grapeseed oil. So I'm gonna make that now. First, add two cups of oats to your bowl. Then add about half a cup to one cup of everything else, all your other uh, ingredients. Once everything is in the bowl, I add half a cup of grapeseed oil and about half a cup of maple syrup to the bowl and mix everything together. Once you have it all laid out on the tray, put it in the oven for one hour at 200 degrees. for one hour. Now I'm going to start on my chicken. My actual dinner. So I started by whisking together cornstarch with water and also grating some ginger and opening my can of chicken broth. I cooked the chicken breasts all the way through and then afterwards put them in a container on the side once they were cooked and covered that in tin foil so they stayed warm. Now for the sauce, add the cornstarch and water, the chicken broth, the two teaspoons of ginger, and then the two teaspoons of mustard, Dijon mustard. Whiskin, whiskin, whiskin. Add any liquid that was in the container of chicken. And then once that's all thickened, Add three tablespoons of sour cream to this. Then I poured it all on top of the chicken. It made a lot of sauce. So I just made a salad with the lettuce, tomato, dill, and avocado from the markets, and I made way too much salad. Like, this is so much salad, but that's okay, because I'll just have the rest tomorrow. And in doing so, I have made a ginormous mess. 
but hey, I'll clean it all up after dinner. So that was my meal of all local food. And my granola's in the oven, so I'll show you that when it comes out. With the rest of my food I got, I'm going to be making uh, steak tacos. So I've still got two leftover chicken breasts, so it'll be lunch tomorrow, steak taco for dinner, steak tacos for lunch, and then I think I'm gonna do fish for dinner the next night. So I should be good for the whole week uh, with food, um, all for under $100 and all sourced or all shopped local. This is the granola done. It cooks for a really long time. It cooked for about two hours. It could probably have done two hours at 200 degrees, but I kind of cooked it in a weird way because I couldn't remember the time. And yeah, so it, I want to try it, but it's um really hot. But yeah, I'm going to now put it in a container and then it'll be ready to go. And I sometimes eat this with yogurt and sometimes I just eat it with milk as cereal and it is such a good breakfast or snack. Yeah. And this is our little breakfast. Half a bagel, fresh dill, fresh bagels, farmer's market cherries, and coffee. And these were actually local coffee beans.